the most beautiful Brahms symphony out of the four symphonies he wrote is always the one you just heard or you just played or you just conducted. And um, I'm no exception, you know, I, this is the way I feel with each of these wonderful masterpieces. However, if really cold like this, I have to choose one, number three is my favorite. Because to me, it's the secret garden of Brahms. It's where what makes Brahms Brahms in his language, in his atmospheres, in his doublings, um, where he is the most specific is really in this third symphony. It's not a symphony that finishes loud or um, really, uh, it's not made to have a rousing applause at the end, even if, you know, uh, we play it very well or not. It's, it's more about poetic images, um, lower woodwinds, horn solos, complex rhythm uh, in the first movement, a lot of also um, um, disorientation rhythmically that we don't know really unless we look at the page, we think the first beat is there, but actually no, it's, it's there. And it, it makes it also extra complex to, to perform, to just to understand, to comprehend, to conduct, to, to play as a chamber music. And uh, maybe for all these reasons, I find it this real gem and treasure amongst his, his symphonic works. Because of its nature, I was curious to to program the symphony, not as a concert ending, but more as an opening. Because first of all, those chords at the beginning of the symphony, they're so, there's a, there's a great feeling of introduction and of taking two big breaths of fresh air and then launching into that uh, wonderful first movement and going into some uh, woods that are hidden in, in the second and third movements. And, this ending, which is, leaves the imagination going, um, I think goes well into remembering in our second half of our program with Haydn and then Strauss, who influenced Brahms and who was influenced by Brahms, also with this Viennese thread uh, within the, 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 the three composers on that program. So because it's something I want to keep exploring, how we get out of the pattern of overture, concerto, interval, symphony, I think that was the, the ideal piece to, uh, yeah, to, to, uh, to experiment on this. And there's also one, one more thing. Um, this symphony, I realize increasingly that it's people don't always realize that it's in the third symphony that that third movement, they know the melody. It's been used in movies, it's been used also um, in jazz, it's been used as a uh, crooning songs, and uh, to me it's closely linked on this um, uh, wonderful movie that used to be a, a book, uh, which is uh, Aimez-vous Brahms? Uh, do you love Brahms? And this is all based on this wonderful, uh, very simple melody, but which has the most profound and touching effect.